Hey, TYT Sports, Roto-Wire, Fantasy Football Show, Ben Mankiewicz, Chris Liss, I'm Heather Ankeny, and we're going to work the wire here going into week two. Obviously, Alan Hearns is probably who everyone is going after. Shock the world. Shock the Patriots. But who else? And should we go after him? Is that like a one-week thing? Uh, yeah, I think he'll be involved. I mean, he's an undrafted free agent. Remember, Victor Cruz is an undrafted free agent. It happens, but they have other guys. They have Mark Casely, who came on in the second half. Alan Robinson is now getting healthy. Cecil Shorts will be back. I'd bid a token couple bucks, but I'm not really into that. Yeah, I don't... Uh... Like, basically, guys who weren't drafted weren't drafted for a reason. There are all these wonderful stories, but most of the guys who weren't drafted aren't ever going to be significant fantasy players. This is a guy who happened to catch two long touchdown passes on his first two plays for a team that then completely got shut down after that. That's a team that's going to struggle to score. I mean, if you have a weakness at wide receiver, I just wouldn't, if you have the top waiver spot in your league, Don't waste it. I no. wouldn't waste it on Allen Hurts. If you're in the middle, who would you, I, I who would you go for then? I don't know. I mean, look, I mean, I guess it depends on what you need. Too. It depends on what you need. If, 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 for example, uh, well, first of all, Josh Gordon would right. be my first choice. He should not be on waivers. You should have drafted him, and if you didn't draft him, you should have picked him up, and you should trade it for him. You should have done whatever. Wait, you why are you him. saying this? You because know, it's a possibility now that because he might be Because the playing. upside always justified the risk of him being suspended for the year and the legal options, and you should have read Rotowire and, and looked at all the legal <laughs> you know, options the we laid only, out. Of the four leagues I'm in, one league was 27 rounds. It's the rotisserie style league. That's the only league he's available in. How it's you, a strange, people, and they're small. It's just a weird over. Some guy drafted him and didn't have a spot for him in like the 23rd round, and then, and then people kind of, I guess, yeah. forgot about him. Yeah. But as of this morning, he legitimately could be. They're they're having. He some could have music. last week. There was always a possibility of, of, of either a lawsuit or the players' right. association. He had he had three outs, right? He had okay. win in arbitration. He lost. He had the lawsuit. He's deciding not to file. Why would he not sue them if they're screwing his life over over nothing? Well, because they're right. going to amend this deal. They're going to get this done, or he's going to sue. He may get to spend a couple games for the DUI later, but you got to go get him if he's available. Because eight games with Josh Gordon is better than 16 games with... Of almost uh, anybody. Yeah, especially anybody if you have a spot open on your bench. Right. Uh, the issue for me, and a guy I bid on in a couple of leagues, is assuming that Terrence West is taken in most leagues, and right. I think he Probably. was, yeah. uh, as Ben Tate's backup. But Kroll, Isaiah Kroll, I think he only carried the ball five times. He did run for 30 yards in those carries, and he looked good on those two touchdowns. Uh, West, though, had 16 carries on 100 yards. Is a waiver spot worth it on Isaiah Crow? Because you just don't you don't know who they're going to use. You know, he looked like he was shot out of a cannon when he was he running. Did. He did look good, and, but I would probably say a marginal one. I, I do think West is the guy they drafted for that role. He's the guy who got the first crack. We got to assume he's going to get it. But look, if Tate were seriously injured. You know, Kroll is a nice compliment, and who knows that West will stay healthy. I mean, you, you just go down the line. What about in Baltimore? Oh, sorry. What? Yeah, go ahead. Baltimore. Well, a key Baltimore. Point. Yeah, obviously Ray Rice is out, so you've got oh, who? Uh, Forsett and Lorenzo. Well, so Bernard Pierce is the guy for now, but he's been bad last year. He was bad in Week One. Yeah. It was a tough defense, right? Bernard Pierce. Yeah, he's been. Bad. Bernard Pierce runs like my father getting out of a chair. <laughs> Wait, do you have it? Can you do an impression of that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, dinner? Great, great, great. <laughs> <laughs> That's Bernard Pierce. I feel like that you said yeah. that was Trent Richardson, too. Uh, yeah, but he's 90. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's still moving around. Just yeah. getting up from the seat of position takes right, a little time. Right. But Bernard Pierce, they benched him after that fumble. Is that right? Uh, I don't remember what happened there. I, I, I was, the game was so unwatchable. It was something. unwatchable, yeah. It was, five <laughs> it was, like, it was Mike yeah. Nugent. But people are already brushing nothing. Bernard Pierce aside, is what I'm saying, it's and, and immediately over. looking it's to not. Forsett in, this, in the Lorenzo. Yeah, Lorenzo, it, who I can't pronounce. It's not necessarily over for Bernard Pierce. But I think that, you know, Justin Forsett did well. He's got experience. He'll probably be the, get the first crack. But Lorenzo Taliaferro is the guy they there drafted. He's big and physical. And he's got the most upside. And it's not a very good run-blocking line. So why not just take the guy who has real upside? Always. I would stash him for a couple bucks. You're, he's going to be cheap. Uh, and you never know with running backs in the league. One guy I drafted in, in, in a league, and I saw he was a free agent in, in a couple other leagues. Mm. Uh, and I'm surprised by it. Uh, and probably not a free agent in a lot of leagues. But I, I would both not only... Play Dwayne Bow this week oh, really? uh, against the Broncos, but I would also uh, obviously pick him up if available. And he's still a, that's he still is available effective. in a lot of leagues, yes, I think, because he was suspended, but only for one game, and he's back now. And, yeah, and they Kansas got, City and they like dog me. Horrible, it yeah. was horrible, and you can't throw to Donnie Avery as your primary target. You can't. It can't be done. And Kelsey didn't do anything, and everyone right. thought he would fill in with Bo out. I, I think that's really interesting. Alex Smith is one of the most disappointing performances of the week. I yeah. have no one league actually started Did him. Did you start him? In a league where I totally punted quarterbacks. Uh. But I think Dwayne Bo is interesting, and he's only like 30 31, and he was a big time red zone target. And you saw what he, did, what he could do, you saw in the, in the, in the oh, yeah. wild card game. Yeah. And, and, and a team that used, <laughs> with, that, with those offensive weapons that essentially used Jamal Charles 
is a decoy. I know, right? Oh, no. I well, know. real quick, if you have someone like Alex Smith that you were counting on in starting, is there any quarterback that you're looking at, like Locker, maybe? Yes. Somebody? Yes. Okay. You don't, you know, when, you, when you're counting on Alex Smith and you totally punt the position, then you're streaming. Okay? You're, not, you're not saying Alex Smith's my guy for the year. You're saying he's my guy for this moment, mm -hmm. and you're constantly churning. And you can do that with quarterbacks in mostly. Jake Locker will get hurt, but when he's not hurt, he's a pretty useful quarterback, as Chris mentioned, uh, with the running. So uh, I would pick up a healthy Jake Locker, and I would be willing to play him in the right matchup.